you for what you do. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, we have some exciting news for Stark County that we want to announce today, and it's related to our uh, emergency 911 services. Uh, we have uh, a partner, a new partner, that's called Carbine, and uh, we are the first county in the state of Ohio to employ this technology, and it's available to all of our dispatch centers throughout the county. And quite simply put, uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us uh, in our dispatch centers to speak real uh, time, like FaceTime or Skyping, so to, uh, so to speak, with uh, the emergency call. And so if a caller calls in and they're reporting some type of emergency, maybe it's a crime in progress, maybe it's an accident that had just occurred, traffic crash or some type of incident, uh, our dispatchers throughout the county are able to send them a link which will allow them to click on the link and videotape real time the incident and share that with the dispatcher. They also can do a, what we call a live chat with the dispatcher. And there are a number of other things that are associated with that that we'll talk about, but quite frankly, um, the technology available to us even helps us closely, closely pinpoint where the individual is. And so we've seen in the past where we utilize GPS from our phones and we can get within a close proximity of where people are located. With this new technology through Carbine, we can close that gap even a little closer. And we, uh, we can show you how we can get very close to the location within just a couple of feet of where the individual is. So if there's somebody that's in a situation that needs help and they call in and they're able to communicate with us then we're, we're able to actually pinpoint where they are in a building. Let's take, say for an example, an apartment complex and somebody's calling for assistance. We can pinpoint just exactly where they are in that complex. So uh, that we certainly will have ubiquitous use throughout the county, throughout our dispatch centers, that I'm convinced will make Stark County safer and will keep our citizens here in Stark County safer. And so again, uh, we're, we're very pleased to be um, the pilot, if you will, in the state of Ohio to launch this software, and we're very pleased to be able to have this available to our citizens. But by clicking on the link, does that provide access to your agency to any other contents of the phone? Pictures, videos, any messages, anything like that? No. It, it just strictly it's is a for... a direct link through a porthole to that, just to the video. So okay, to the video that's on, but not video stored on, on their phone. Okay, and then how, how do you ensure that uh, the access is terminated, you know, like, and, and, and that you're not, you're not still, you know, monitoring what's coming from the camera after that. Right. There's a uh, technologically. They can I turn think it off. It, once, once you disconnect, it only the link is only there for what's the time period. But it's not usable after the session's closed. Yes. So our the first year is uh, free and doing this trial with them. Right. Second year is forty-five thousand dollars. Third okay. year will be either, we'll either go out to bid. We expect more companies to have this type of technology available okay. in three years. So we'll go out, either go out to bid or see if a company is on state term contract. Just think if the first responders had this technology when they responded to the World Trade Center, they would have known where the fires were, they would have people, we, where people were at, you know, where they could access and where they couldn't access. I mean, it literally would have been a lifesaver. It really would have. We all know that in an emergency, seconds count. And so if this, again, this is another byproduct of this, as this technology, if we can reduce that time frame that we give first responders to the emergency, and we give them uh, first responders additional information, like pinpointing exactly where they are within a, a few feet rather than a few hundred yards or maybe a half a mile, uh, we're, doing our, we're doing a better job of serving our community. So, this is the link that the caller will receive. I have to accept that link on video. So it's right now, where, where, where's the accept? Right here, local service, okay. location services, and I accepted that. And you can see now on the screen here that we are showing. Okay. But you can see my location map service here on the lower screen. 
It's showing my location at the uh, at the sheriff's what is, office. Is that an image? Is that a satellite image? The satellite image through Google. Now, if I go, if I'm able to, the dispatcher is able to speak with me. He can hit the chat icon here. He can send me a message. And where Do you need up? help? And okay. it's going to show up on my screen. He says hello, and I can come back and say need police. And I can send that through the chat form. Oh, this is the link oh, that I okay. receive that right. I accept. And the dispatchers then, will okay. explain. So it goes, comes to a text, okay. To them. They will explain, we are able to, you're able to send video, we can chat. They can tell them the steps to go through by clicking on that link. So I closed out of that link. He's no longer getting anything from me. I have closed out on that. Okay. So now he has enabled his video, the officer that's out testing for us. Go ahead and show us something on your phone there. And that is where he is at now. And I and yep. we're able to see the uh, back corner of his cruiser from around. his car phone. So instead of the phone system kind of guessing where you are, that's using the exact same technology that you would use if you're doing mapping or anything that you would do on your phone, we're getting that information. So we go from a very large area to a very small, very specific area in a populated area like Canton where the houses are stacked right on top of each other. We can really find out which house you're at versus guessing amongst 20, 30 houses. If we can narrow it down to two houses instead of 10 houses, you know, we can get that person help a lot faster. Right? Somebody wants to show us an incident we can decide from a video, do we need to send one fire truck, five fire trucks, to, you know. We can estimate our response a lot faster and get the appropriate apparatus going versus waiting for the first person to get on scene. And then, oh, by the way, we need all this help. You know, and delaying that response, we can get that response going immediately.